Hi, this is Cheryl at Sea Spirit Tarot. I bet my voice is really bad now. Um, I don't know how to make video responses yet, but I was watching a video by G-U-I-D-W-I-F-E, knowledgeable witch, I would say. And she was talking, <clears throat> or experienced witch also, about, you know, is Halloween the new Christmas? Everybody's already buying the stuff, putting it out. When we still have, we're still in Llamas, and we still have Maybon, which is the second harvest of the season. People are canning, they will be canning, they'll be making pies. And coming into balance, and this will be Maybon, and this is, I believe, the 22nd or the 23rd. It's called the second harvest of the wheel. And um, they will be harvesting things. So it was like I was off on kind of something else for a minute. Anyway, what I was going to say is, is she was showing how she'd read this with two spreads. And actually, I modified the spread. This is uh, pre Maybon. What do we need to do to get ready for Maybon? And I modified the spread from her spread. But I want to tell you. She showed what she did it with two sets of cards and how similar it was. I did this spread with, I guess it was supposed to be called Shadow Work, with three or four sets, no, three sets of Tarot and one set of Oracle, and they came out so, so similar. Though, and so even though Maybon is the time when we need to come into balance, as the the season, the cold, dark season waxes in. I mean, it's 92 here. It is still summer. It is still Lamas. It is not Halloween. It is not the dark night yet, honest to gosh. But what we need to do right now is come into balance. And literally, this is when pagans literally and figuratively, we reap what we sow. As in, isn't that about hysterical? since that's exactly what Saturn and Pluto and Uranus <clears throat> and Neptune are currently teaching us or releasing on us. But anyway, that goes on. Yeah, I mean, it's a once-a-lifetime cosmic, cosmic ride. But the Wheel of Life has gone on as long, as long as we know. So this would be a pre maben spread. This is when Mabon, when the days and the night are the same. So you want to honor that moment of balance, and you want to come into balance with yourself. Well, I'm kind of sentimental, been real sentimental all these spreads I've done, so a couple of them I cried. But even though it's not Halloween, I got these Halloween Oracle cards out, and I thought I would run it real quick, because this is so interesting. Maybon. What do we need to do to get ready for Maybon? And this got Bambrack. Sweetness and Synergy. This was a bread that they used to make, a sweet bread, and inside they twist it and they put toys or pieces of fabric or such. We used to do the same thing down here in the south. We'd have these balls, and we also have King King at Mardi Gras, quite similar. And depending on what charm or omen you received in your loaf of bread, led you through the winter as your talisman or your lucky piece or your fortune teller or whatever. So this has been my most nourishing food. One is I like sweets. Well, there's always that, isn't there? This light is getting me. And um, and two, what do I have? What am I, my nurse, most nourishing food right now is after quitting all those years of nursing and victimhood and martyrhood and working against my integrity. The most, what I am trying the most to bloom and bring to ripen is sweetness and synergy. So I thought this card was very fitting for me. This is a spread anybody could do. I might do a few more through in just general, see if anybody else feels similar ways. What am I harvesting now? I got the lamp. The lamp here says remembrance. And like I said, I have been so sentimental here lately. My my daughter's been so kind. 
I'm going, may have some time to be with my family. I'm remembering things from so far back. So much sweetness in my life, just like this, this cake. There's so much sweetness in my life. And that's what I'm harvesting. I'm harvesting some sweetness in my life that maybe I was too resistive to even let in. Or maybe it wasn't there because my field was barren. The next thing is um, what tools are at my disposal are needed. I got a variety of things um, and some of the other spreads. But basically, it all comes down. This is dawn, a new day in the darkness. So one had a king and one had the empress. And I think those could all affect a similar of a new life of which I am in control of. I'm in charge of. There was much more brightness in either one of those two cards. Um, comparing the decks, when I laid them out, that I compared them in the spread, it was just amazing. So what I have at my disposal and what is needed is a new day is needed, a new dawn is needed, a new life. It's at my disposal. It's being created. Um, like I said, I'm doing this for my retirement fund, for my own psychic development. And for anybody else who wants to listen to some old crone. But I thought this was just perfect. The next three cards, and I, I narrowed this down because you only have this little screen, basically, and I'm not going to nine card spread all around. But what will I have to share in Harvest? What, what do I need to get ready to have to share in Harvest? And here we have hearth, happiness in our hearts and homes. And I would say my life is definitely at this time leading that way. And that goes back again to the sweet bread. That goes back to the remembrance. And that goes back to the new day. What am I willing to receive? What will I receive? Or what problems in the past have I been unwilling to receive, been resistive to? And here we get invisibility. And what what is taken at the bottom of the card here, authenticity. After all this stuff that I've been through all these years, and like I said, if anyone ever wants to listen to an old crone, here's one. I'm, it's off this authenticity, finally, is authenticity. No more games, some politeness, some parameters on manners, but no more games of it. This is the authentic person. It's going towards the end of my life. I don't have time to screw around at a standing in line and to get a new mix master, <laughs> a new iPhone, when I should probably be concentrating on something a little a little different. And that's just because my life's at a different stage. <clears throat> since since not being a nurse, I, I've lost that role. You know, I am not a nurse. I used to not even pe want people to know I was an RN because, because of what they did to the soul. So here's my authenticity standing up. It looks pretty empty, but um, I see lots of light coming out around. So I would definitely say there was some illumination in that. And the last thing, what do I need to balance to come into Maybon before the, the cold, dark winter appears? Of course, here it's 93 last time I looked here. So we're obviously, we've had Labor Day. School has started, but we're still in Lamas. We're still in summer. We're not even to Maybon. But when we get to Maybon, about another, what, two weeks or so, the skull of flowers, and I think this is tremendous. This is go out and ground on the beach. Take that hiking trail. Take that last raft trip. Uh, go walk barefoot in your garden, in your park. That's one of the things she said, in your garden. I took that line. Um, notice the flowers. Right right now, it's it's been 92 with lows of like, I think we're getting finally down to lows of like 85. But I've kept my flowers so wet. And it's just a cornucopia of beautiful color out here. So wherever you are, you know, I know if you're harvesting in Wyoming and you're chopping corn, it's just hot and dry and dusty, but it's colorful and it smells good. And 
or whatever you're harvesting. So um, what needs to change the balance? Oh, I lost that card. What needs to change the balance as I, as I to receive these flowers, to carry these flowers through, to take myself out in nature, to enjoy every bit of nature, because yesterday is gone and tomorrow is not promised, and really all we have right now is today. So the best way to take care of the harvest, whether it's the harvest of our pumpkin, <laughs> are the harvest of um, our soul is to is to right now be generous and be grateful and, and complete projects that are hanging out there get your house kind of shored up I know I know it seems a little bit early it seems like a lot even down here it's decorating for Halloween sometimes you get really really hot and sweaty but this is about Maybon. Maybon is traditionally the second harvest. What am I bringing in? What's my most nourishing fruit? Sweetness and synergy are what I, I hope for that to be, choose myself to become that. What am I harvesting now? Remembrances. I couldn't remember some good times for a long time. See, there's where I'm. But right now my life with the new dawn... It's just absolutely fabulous. I I'm just enjoying it so very much. I can I'm looking sideways, upside down, backwards, and they're trying to see what it is, what to share. Hearth, home, family. I have time to, since I'm not being a nurse. My daughter really surprised me because she says, "Well, you're not working all the time now," and I was like. Oh, yeah, you know, but we're brought up in this society, pound, pound, pound. My authenticity may look like invisibility, but I see light shining in that. The light is shining. And to be your authentic self, you, you, have, you can have a light around you, but you don't have to have a light around you of, um, what's the word? It's not prominence. F fabulous ability. Oh, you're so fabulous what you did. No, to be authentic, you just be authentic. And the skull of flowers, <clears throat> which we could call, don't forget to smell the roses. <clears throat> but um, get your harvest together in beauty, in gratitude, and in all other type personage. And I thought that was just kind of a real fun read. I, I might do a couple more of these, and I am going to do a, a um, full moon one. I can't even think of one card to put on this, but to leave it as it is. I hope everybody takes advantage, understands the importance of the wheels of the year and how of the points on the wheels of the year and how we should savor each one absolutely as part of our life. Love and light, everybody. Catch you on the next one.